Hi, thanks for joining me for another Philly Market Minute update. Today we're going to talk about pricing and I'm going to share with you a top secret that your current agent, your prior agent, the agents that you're interviewing to sell your home, I'd say 99% have not told you this. It's an inside secret. But first I want to share with you an analogy. You know me, I'm good for storytelling. I was at a day-long seminar last year actually talking about the upcoming shift in the market. Don't be scared, we'll talk more about that later. Adjustments is normal. But this gentleman shared this um, analogy of if sellers are overpriced or priced above market and as the market shifts, trying to chase the market down is like trying to catch a falling knife. So today we're in the kitchen and I just, just can't bring myself to drop this knife to, trying to make it a little more interesting. I just can't. I watch too much uh, CSI Miami and I have flashbacks of Horatio. With... All right, well, thanks for humoring me. Now I want to get a little more serious with you. There are three terms that are important to take into consideration and understand, uh, which we'll use. One is the market. What is the market? For each home, there's a different market. There's micro markets, there's Philly market, there's mainline market, there's national market, there's the Pennsylvania market, the New York market, you get the point. So what's really important when we talk about market is what does that mean? What that means, market values are determined, of course, by what buyers are willing to pay for similar homes, just as stock values are determined or stock market values are determined by what buyers are willing to pay today. So when we look at the market for your home, it's going to be important to understand that's how it's determined. And there's usually a range, kind of a high and low range that you can see. And many times, especially with luxury homes, they're very unique. So we'll look at the range of similar homes and you and I together will get a pretty clear indication of where the market for your home is. Now, two other phrases are in the market and out of the market. And I'll put some graphics into the video to show you as the market adjusts, and please understand we're not in a 2008 situation, the level of appreciation is slowing and there are a large number of price adjustments happening and price reductions, but these are sellers who have been priced above the market because of the escalating values and now find themselves out of the market, meaning the range where buyer activity is actually happening. So I'll, again, I'll show you from graphics. I'm a visual person that helps me but when uh, the price adjustments that we see, people can make up all kinds of stories about statistics, but from touching base with national sources, it's important to distinguish the language to understand the level of appreciation is slowing down. In our area, values are still strong, but what's critical is that the home be priced in the market, in the zone of where actual transactions are happening, where buyers are making offers. Now let's get to that secret that I was teasing you about. What most realtors won't tell you is um, quote unquote, taking listings is the backbone of the real estate business. Every coach, Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry, they all tell you, focus on listings, focus on listings, focus on listings. That's because as a realtor, it can become a good source for leads, a good source for branding. You get your name out there on the sign, you know, with a listing online, it, it brings buyer leads, which, by and large, they're not a direct hit for that listing. So the buyer who's interested in this home, for instance, I'm here at Estates on 3rd, quite often the buyer feedback is, is a couple and it's too much home. So if they allow me, then I get to help them find something that's a better fit. So the, the little dirty secret about why people in our industry would agree to support a price that's out of the market, or an overpriced listing, is because statistically for every listing a realtor should be able to close two to three buyer contracts during the time of that listing that doesn't mean the home is sold it means that my you know but just use me that my business has been built what bothers me about that to the core for me is that's not in integrity with my commitment to you as a seller my commitment to you as a seller is solely focused on your success and the accomplishment of your goals. Of course, we work together as business partners. Of course, I want to maximize the opportunity and expand networks 
and I'll probably meet buyers who I may refer to other agents and build my business. It's a natural side effect. It should be a side effect of accomplishing your goals, not using your overpriced listing to build as a marketing tool to advertise myself and build my business. That's a little industry secret of you wonder why you meet three or four realtors and some are willing, well, so-and-so will list my home at this. But this is where I caution you to consider that. Yes, they may be willing to, but what is the motive behind it? And will that serve your needs? Anyone can put anything on the market for four million, five million, ten million, but will it sell? If they're willing to list it at a price that clearly from the facts shows it's out of the market, that is not helping you. It may help, it more than likely will help them, but doesn't help you. I'm committed to you, to straightforward success for your goals. Please reach out, give me a call, let's sit down and talk, and we'll go over realistically and strategically and proactively how we can accomplish them. Thank you for your patience with my uh, humor and uh, the details, and please reach out with any questions. Until next time. Great talking with you.